I expect you to watch this video. All right, maybe not you, but you, okay, well, it is you because you are watching this video, but maybe I shouldn't tell you that I expect it. I just hope, but that's, uh, all right, maybe I hope secretly, but try to not be disappointed either way because I have no expectations to, I don't know. Let me try to explain. So the main reason for doing this video is I wanted to test out this new um, wireless um, lavalier mic. Uh, so if the quality of the audio is not good, we both know now, and if it is good and you're interested, let me know because it's actually a fairly economic uh, choice. And I, if it works, then obviously if somebody wants to know, let me know. Um, but to go back to my ran rambling uh, opening, I was, uh, some time ago, I used the word expectations in a conversation, an ongoing conversation with a group of people. And I was shocked at the reaction to the word expectation. Um, I was told things like I shouldn't use that word. Um, I, it's okay to have expectations. I just shouldn't tell people about them. That expectation was too strong a word. That maybe I should have used the word hope instead of expectations. I don't know. And let me be clear too. The, this video is not going to end with a solid opinion on this matter. Uh, I'm incredibly acute. I'm incredibly confused by the whole conversation. Um, I, I think we all have expectations. I, I have never understood the idea of having an expectation and either not living by it or being afraid to have it or not expressing it or whatever. And especially in this case, because my the context in which I use the word expectation was uh, one, I had good expectations. And two, the thing that I had good expectations about, that thing had lived up to them. Um, so I was incredibly shocked by the whole thing. And it really went on and on. So I don't know. But again, I've said it before in other videos. I don't think like most people. So maybe that's why I'm having a hard time. But I try to accept feedback. Uh, forgive me too, by the way. I... Um, can't see my phone without my readers, and I'm going to look at a few things on my phone, so I'm, I'm going to look down a little bit. Um, so to go back to the word expectations, I thought maybe I don't fully understand the, the, the word. I thought maybe there's something about the word expectation that I don't understand. So I looked it up, and one of the definitions for expectations is a strong belief that some, something will happen or be the case in the future. And I thought, okay, like maybe it's the strong thing, the, the strong belief. Uh, but then, I, but conversely, wouldn't that mean you have a weak belief that that's going to happen, that you kind of believe it's going to happen? And if you only kind of believe it's going to happen, what's the point? But anyway, so uh, a belief that someone will or should achieve something. Um, okay, again, I believe... I, will or should, um, and again, maybe it's the word should in there that they should achieve something, I don't know. So another definition, um, a simple definition of expectation is something expected. So good or bad, I still stand by that definition. It was something I expected. So I was told that maybe I should use the word hope. So I looked up the word hope. So hope is defined, and again, if, if hope is somehow softer than expectations, like, let's look at that. But okay, so hope is defined by a feeling of expectation and desire for a certain thing to happen. So, okay, uh, I have a desire for a certain thing to happen, which still would be my expectation of a thing happening. Uh, okay, so maybe it's softer, but that takes me back to a question I've had a lot. Why would I be, why would I tone down what I'm saying or feeling or expressing so you're not intimidated by the words or, I don't know. Like, I can't imagine, I, I expected this. Maybe it's your inability to believe you can live up to the expectations, but I would counter in that case, who cares if you live up to my expectations or not? Who am I, you know, that was the other thing too. Someone said to you, who are you to have expectations? Uh, me. Um, I'm a pretty smart fellow, and more than anything, I'm, controller of my own mind and world and I have expectations. But why would you pin your value on living up to my expectations? My 
value of the situation could link, be linked to my expectations. But one, you don't have to agree with my expectations. You don't have to live up to them. And you don't have to care whether you do or not. Um, anyway, that goes back to the whole keep a list of people in your wallet or purse that are important to you, and those are the opinions that matter. Um, but I would say, and I talked to a psychologist friend of mine afterwards, because again, this really confused me. And we both agreed, and him being a doctor, uh, that everybody has expectations. We all, like, you cannot be disappointed in a situation if you didn't expect something different from that situation. Um, so, and even that, I looked up and I thought, let me look up disappointed. Maybe it's not. So the definition of disappointed, sad or displeased because someone or something has failed to fulfill one's hope or expectations. So, uh, and again, this is not, I've got it all figured out kind of thing. I've got, I, I'm incredibly confused by the, the, the conversation that's spun. And this went on and on. Um, you shouldn't use expectations. You shouldn't tell people your expectations. You shouldn't have expectations. Who are you to have expectations? Uh, I don't agree with any of that. Uh, I mean, and I'm legitimately looking for feedback. I'm, um, so I don't agree with any of that. I, I think we should have expectations. Actually, in the work environment, I think you, the two things that lead to success is having an expectation and hold people accountable when you don't have expectations and they don't meet those expectations. And I think it's important to develop those expectations in collaboration with that person. But anyway, so I'm curious your thoughts. Why would the word expectation freak someone out? Why would you not have expectations? I can't imagine... Like, that, I equate it because, you know, we've all had that... <laughs> <laughs> We've all been la locked in that circle of talking about where to eat, that kind of thing. Like I say it all the time, you should live on purpose. Everything should matter. And more than more, one person has said to me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in any way. I can't imagine, one, that being true, and two, I can't imagine living that life that way. Why in the world would I go out to eat with no expectations of it going well? Why in the world would I go out to eat with not caring one way or another how that meal is or turns out. Why would I do that with anything? If it doesn't matter, if I have no expectations about that process, then why would I do it? Now, there are things that happen in my life that I don't have any expectations for. I have no, I don't even know. Anything I do, yes, I have an expectation for. Um, I'm The level of importance on that event or level of importance on that expectation is the level to which I am disappointed. Uh, like, I want to go out for a cup of coffee later. I expect that cup of coffee to be good. It is not going to ruin my whole day if it's not. Um, but, uh, so anyway, like, even that, why would I go somewhere to get coffee that I don't expect it to be good? If I don't expect it to be good, why would I get it? Why would I go there? Why wouldn't I go somewhere where I expect it to be good? Why? So I, I don't understand this. So I, I welcome feedback on this. I know it was a bit rambling because it's still a process um, trying to reconcile them ahead, uh, that I'm a little pressed for time, and I wanted to test out this. So if this sounded good, or if you have any questions about it, please let me know. I will tell you that these little clips that come with it, they are uh, a little disappointing. It took a rather soft bounce and broke, and then the one that I tried to replace it with broke, and then finally I, I put this on off another level there, right? So anyway, uh, if you made it through, I appreciate it. And if you have any comments or questions, I legitimately open that up. I do not expect you to do it. <laughs> I just put this out there and, you know, hey, whatever happens, happens, and it's just fine no matter what. Uh, but anyway, I, I joke, but I don't. I, 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 clearly, more than one person has a problem with the word expectations. Um, I do not have a problem with the word expectation. I, I would appreciate if somebody would tell me their expectations, and one, I would know right away, I don't think I can meet that expectation, or two, at least now I know what I'm trying to do. But anyway, I'm rambling a bit. Any questions, comments, any sort of input on it, I appreciate it.